sports. I don't know okay. sports. I just know you and love you, right. brother. Exactly. It's good oh, to see like you, line. man. Like Let's line. bring VJ in. I'd All like you to meet him. VJ, introduce yourself. Good morning, VJ. How are you? All right, listen, man. I'm doing outstanding. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you blessed? Listen, so am I. First of all, Big fan of yours. I was never fast. I always wanted to be when I played football. <laughs> and I remember playing for the Lee Franconia Wolverines in Woodbridge, Virginia in 1985. And I wanted number 83. And my coach looked at me and said, boy, you better take this 92 and get on that damn defensive line. You ain't no damn Willie Go. I'm like, I want to be Willie Go. He's like, you ain't fast enough to be Willie. You can see I'm a thick bro. I wasn't fast enough to be Willie Go. A um, few questions for you. You, you. you played in such a legendary team. And I'm, I'm sure you've been asked the 85 Bears stuff so much. I do have one 85 Bears question I'll save for less. But I want to talk more about... Um, you were a world-class athlete. A lot of people don't know a lot of this about you. Um, right. You were going to run for the U.S. in the Olympics in the 80 Olympics, but in Moscow, but the U.S. boycotted those games. So you've been world-class uh, for a long time. I used to want to go to Tennessee, and you went to Tennessee. You're a former Vol. Do you know that you still are tied for the record for career kickoff returns for touchdowns in the SEC? Do you know that? I do know that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, well, I, I'm, I'm actually um, nominated for the Hall of Fame, the College Hall of Fame. Yes. So I, I, Woo! I, yes. yes, sir. Um, but, well, thank you. I, yes. I was. I, I actually made two Olympic teams. I made the Summer Olympics, and I also made the Winter Olympics in bobsled. Yeah. So, and I was ranked number, I think I had the second or third fastest time in the world at one point in 1981 or two or something like that. Mm -hmm. And the hundred meters and the hurdles. I was uh, had the second fastest time in the world. In the 100 meter, I think I had the fourth fastest time in the world. So I was ranked both in the top 10 in the 100 meters and the hurdles. And I was ranked in the top 10 probably uh, another two or three years. So, yeah, I, I did run competitively, uh, and I was real fast. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I always view I always view you as the receiver, like Swan and, and Dawson, the, the, the Swan, he was the guy, he was the first like Moss. He was right. he go he go get yeah. it, right? Okay. Uh you can go to Rick, you can go to Barry with the Colts back in the sixties and as one of the first toe tag swag yeah. guys that could get yeah. the feet down and lean in. Chris yeah. Carter pretty much yeah. perfected it. You were in my eyes were the were the pioneer of listen, just run. Right. And throw it as far. Don't you can't overthrow this guy. Right. Just run, and you can't overthrow this guy. You were actually running in uh, something called the Men's Masters, which is an over forty sprinters league. Where you you won that. You also set the record, I believe, when you were fifty. You set the world record for that under forty end of one hundred and the two hundred. Tell us about that. Man, you know a lot. Okay, I'm, I'm impressed. Oh, yeah. I, I ain't the sports dude for no reason, <laughs> Willie. <laughs> the match actually started at 35, from 35 all the way up to 100. Away. Okay. So I have the world record for uh, 45 to 50, 50 to 55, and 55 and over um, for 100 meters and 200 meters. I've actually been undefeated for the last, since I've been running the Masters. And I've broken 13 world records in a span of 35 years. So that's wow. what I've done with the American match. Wow. I'm really proud of that. That's why I still run now. And I'm uh, very proud of that. And I actually love track and field. I love the action of running because it's actually you against the clock. Yep. There's really very little politics involved. You know, it's, you can't blame anyone but yourself. You don't train if you don't have the speed. So it, it's been very rewarding for me I, I, because it, it helps me to stay in shape. And I run with guys now that are, you know, 25 and 30 and, and 28. And I'm making up I, I run with a group of guys when I work out now. Uh, one guy won the gold medal in the last Olympics in a 4 by 4 relay, Gil Roberts, who's one of my training partners, yep. and a guy named Blake Leeper, who actually mm -hmm. world record holder for the double leg amputee. He has no legs, one right. of no legs. And uh, he has his record, which is 44-2. So we all work out together, and it's re really rewarding. And you so, helped train him, correct? The WAPT guy, didn't, yeah, didn't you help? Right. Yeah, you helped train. I saw some video yeah. on that. You helped yeah. you helped train on that. Oh, two more questions, and then I'll let Mike uh, take back over. Um, you were asked once about your speed when you were an older guy in your 50s compared to some NFL guys. And I think that's one thing I love about you is you still kind of have what I call – Former pro athlete Moxie, where you still have the mentality as, look, I don't care how old I am. I'll go out here and dust these young boys. They don't train. Medicine's different. Food's different. Training's different. Just the heart of an athlete's different. 
And the only two guys you gave credit to from what I saw was CJ2K, Chris Johnson, out of Central Florida, played with the Titans, went for 2,000 yards, and Trenton Holiday, who was a national champion at LSU and was going to be an Olympian also, too. You were asked about a good friend of mine named Deshaun Jackson. I used to live in Long Beach. Right. And you're just your answer. You was like, yeah, I get him. It wasn't even a thought. I was just like, oh, hold up, hold up. Did he just say that about my boy DJ? But just that type of moxie about you. How do how do you keep that? How do you keep that energy and just keep that confidence that listen, Father Tom gonna have to wait on me. Okay, I'm not. He ain't catching me. I'm going. I'm going to catch him. Well, because I put the work in. Uh, I mean, when I leave here, when I finish this, I'm going to the track, going to work out. Yep. And uh, I only try. I mean, I, I'm, I'm respectful of all those guys. Believe me, I, I understand. Uh, but I just go by facts. I mean, facts are it's, the time is in the proof is in the pudding, as they say. Yeah. I go by the watch. The watch doesn't lie, yep. you know. And I, I look at guys and what their times are, and what they run. And I go, okay, great. I mean, there there've been some fast guys in the league, and of course, um, Jim Hines, Bob Bob Hayes. Yeah. Who, who I've got to say was one of the first fastest. Hmm? Uh, great receivers, and uh, I I saw the I guess I, I didn't really know much about him when I came up, but then I learned about him, so I modeled myself a little bit after him. But I, I played the game the best way I could. I wasn't on a predominantly throwing team. We had a guy named Walter Payton, you know, who yeah. was great. He was he was kind of good. Actually, yeah. so, so <laughs> our, our team was more of a, a balanced offense where I stressed it. I led the team every year for five years. Mm-hmm. And receiving, but I stressed the defense out, and I did my best. You know, I came in every day on time. I knew my plays. I made very few, if any, mistakes. And uh, you know, my attitude was great because I saw it as a, as a gift and a blessing to be able to play in the league. And I, I think if more guys look at it that way, as opposed to you know the league owes them something, whatever, it's a blessing to be able to be in a position to do what you love and to get paid for it and get paid a lot of money. But I always looked at just the confidence as far as saying what I think I can do. And, you know, if you don't believe in yourself, no one else is going to believe in you. Now, now Deshaun is an amazing athlete. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Great guy. At the time, I think I could have beat him. Now, I'm not sure, possibly. It would be close. Yeah. But I wouldn't. I, I, I'd race anybody. I'd race you the same boat. I ain't. I'm not Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, to, I, I stepped off for a minute. I wasn't able to come back. I was just trying to yeah. flag Chris. Where you at? Bring you back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I saw what I did right there, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't know the sports thing, so I let I know, DJ I know. come in and ask you all the stuff. So now I'm back because I got to talk to you about stuff that's non-sports right. stuff. If I can't, I just got, I just got, just no quick one more. Four. You said two questions. I, I, I know this is the last, one. and this is the last one because I gotta ask him this. And trust me, he's gonna love this question. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Tell us how in the world did the Jamie Lee Curtis picture happen? Oh wow! Okay, so that that picture caused problems back then. Uh, I think it was nineteen what 80, 89, uh, 88, 89? 89. Right. So the cable guy was a small little guy, and they had the idea of making their cover big. So they said, "Look, we." I knew the guy. I said, "Look, I want to do a picture of you and someone else on the cover." I'm thinking about Jamie Lee Curtis. I said, okay, I know Jamie, that'd be cool. So we, we, we did the photo shoot, we came in, we got along really well. Jamie and I were great, you know, and she wore my jersey and I had no shirt on. And then she sort of wrapped herself around me and I, said, you know, <laughs> and I just went with it. It was all cool because we were friends. So exactly. It didn't to me. Yeah. And, and when that when that came out, oh my gosh, I know. It was the first time a black man and a white woman was on the cover of a magazine together. And it like, it was just, Crazy! We got letters from everywhere. Oh, you, you yeah. Right there. yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that was the first major magazine with a black woman and, yep. and a black man and a white woman. And, and, and the reason, really cool. and the reason why I asked that is because I thought it was groundbreaking. I didn't. I knew. I knew there was red or yeah. and I was a young kid, but when I saw it, I was like, "This is." This is dope. Jamie Lee Curtis is, you know, you know her from the Friday the Thirteenth movie. I mean, the Michael yeah. Myers Halloween movies. Willie Go. That at that point, you were a Raider. You were you were yep. you were you were with yep. the Raiders. Yep. So I, I yep. thought it was great. And that's why I bought it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I bought it. I, I thought it was great for the. I thought it was great so for the culture. After that, did something go down? Would you and Jamie? See, <laughs> something always go down. <laughs> <laughs> BJ, thank you. What's going down? What's going up? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> thank so, you. Do you. It was do, a pleasure. Don't leave yet, BJ. Do you have kids? I do. I have two. So uh, are they you, athletes okay, too? Okay, in the background, you see that picture behind me? 
I thought that was I thought that's, that was Jimmy Hendrix. That's Hendrix. That is Jimmy Hendrix. My son painted that. My son. Oh. Painted. Oh. Okay. So all right. Gabe Galt. G A B E G A U L T. You'll see all his work. He's amazing. He just got commissioned from Ryan Reynolds to do five paintings. He just got a commission to do a, a big mural that's 135 foot tall by 400 yards wide in Ohio. Uh, so he's doing really well. He's, he's great. He's you said you yeah. said G A B E Galt. Right. Okay. Okay. Because I'm gonna go on and look his work up. Yeah, go look at his work. And then my you... daughter, my daughter Shikari, she's in real estate. She's in Beverly Hills. She's married, amazing. Her, her husband is Greg, Oak with a mm. Monday. And uh, they're amazing, and uh, they're doing they're doing great in, in real estate. Wow, I'm loving that. I'm going to oh, yeah. for the athletes, but never mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, they, I mean, my son played a little baseball. My daughter played a little basketball, but my son's like, I'm an artist. Will baseball. you hook me up with Gabe so I can bring him on my show and, and talk oh, about absolutely. art? Oh, absolutely. For sure, he would love that. It's, oh, yeah, it's great. put that when you, see, when you see his stuff, I, I think you'll be quite amazing. He actually did something for Madden, Madden, Madden 2021. Oh. 2020. He did um, Aaron Donald, a huge painting of Aaron Donald, which you can see it on his site. And okay. he a painting with the, the Black Bull Rider. The Black Bull Rider, the, the guy who uh -huh. the top 10. Yeah. yeah. He took a picture with him that's probably um, uh, six feet by five feet. So it's huge stuff. Okay. Wow. I oh. love, I see the love you have for your oh, yeah, family too. Amazing. You talked yeah, about yeah. him. You just start beaming, yeah. you know. Yeah. Although you are dimly lit here, I don't really see you clearly. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, I, see, you, I see you. So listen, uh, I want to say thank you. First of all, I'm going to go look up Gabe's. Uh, artwork. I, I and I I invite everybody. Let's oh, yeah. get online today and check out his artwork. Absolutely. But I'm calling you back, Willie Galt, because and that's Mr. Galt to you, Negro DJ. <laughs> um, and I'm I'm just playing with you, man. So I I am gonna call you today, and I want to see if I can get him to come on this show so we Absolutely. can see his, his art. Absolutely. Uh, DJ, uh, I'm gonna let Willie go second. First, I'm gonna let you go. Tell people how to reach you, DJ. Everybody can always reach me at the Big Vanilla Funny on IG. Spells like it sounds. Also, my very first owned company here, Vessin Sports Network, the first all black owned comedy and sports network. Never been done before. We're combining both because God gave me the talent to be able to do both and pretty good at both, I think. So, guys, hit me here, Vessin Sports Network at YouTube, the Big Vanilla Funny uh, at IG. Also, too, Mr. Gold. I uh I listen I listened to Super Bowl Shuffle this morning. I still oh, memor I still memorize your verse. Oh wow! I still I got I almost there's a word or two I missed, but I still the chocolate swirl is still my line. That's you still know, um, I help I help write and produce that uh, the whole thing. It's I'm speeding Willie and I'm world class. I like running, but I love to catch the pass. pass. I practice all day and dance, dance all night. night. I gotta get ready for, for the Sunday, Sunday fight. fight. Yeah. Now, I'm as smooth as a chocolate swirl. I dance a little funky, so watch me, girl. There's no one here that doesn't like me. My Super Bowl show for the set you free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was some of the funnest times in my life, man. I love the it. And the Bears and the Raiders and the Tim Browns of the world. And, yep. uh, you know, it was the Walter Paytons and, the, you know, McMahon and all those guys at Fridge. And it was a great, great time for me that I cherish forever. And the Marcus Allens, where I just actually, Eric Dickerson, I just played in a golf train with Eric and Marcus on Monday. I've made some great relationships, and I got a chance to meet people that I've never probably would have met in my life, like Jen D. Curtis and like Muhammad Ali, and you oh, know, just the men go on and on, and Magic Johnsons, and the people of those worlds are my peers, and you know, I'm truly blessed. I'm from Griffin, Georgia, guys, a small town in Georgia, yep. right. and, I, and I'm able to do this like you, Michael. I mean, I would never imagine, you know, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, when I was in high school, that I would have this ride that I'm enjoying. And the more I know, the more I realize I know nothing. I mean, it's That's right. That's we just scrap right. we just scratching the surface, man. But why did you right. vote for Trump, though, man? Man, come on. Man. <laughs> 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 All right, I gotta let both of y'all go. Y'all gotta right. get out of here. I got some more show now, Mr. Well, Go. I appreciate I'll you, brother. See you, VJ. All right. Um, Love you guys. Have a great weekend. How do people reach you? Can people uh, write to you? Yes, Willie Galt, my Instagram. I'm at Willie Galt. W i l l i e g a u l t. That's the best place. Hold on a second. Hey, hey, uh, Chris, are you able to throw up that picture of the ever-loving sister Quintella? Do we have a picture that's 